right, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Today we got a special vid, how to choose your own pair of bowling shoes. We're gonna go through the five level of shoe here, explain what's the difference between each one, and hopefully let you know which pair is best for you. So to start it off, we're gonna go with the lowest end shoe here, the most inexpensive. And this is just a slight upgrade from the current rental shoes that most bowling alleys have. As you can see here, they're worn out, they're too wide, they're too big, and they got other people's feet in it. That's terrible. Okay, Mark, so to start it off, we have the Dexter Ricky IV. Can you tell us a little bit more about this shoe and what makes it better than a rental shoe? If you look on the bottom of these, you have a slide sole and a flat bottom. So this is gonna provide you a little bit more slide than what's on a rental shoe. It's gonna be a little bit lighter as well. This thing weighs nothing. If we're gonna move up from that slightly, we have something like a 3G Kicks here. So similar on the bottom, it's a longer slide sole and a raised heel as well. Those combined give you a little bit more slide out there on the approaches. On the lower end of the bowling shoe spectrum, the Dexter Ricky and the 3G Go are very similar price points, but as you can see, the slight differences in style and with the heel component, this one being slightly raised and this one being very flat from heel to toe, right? So it just depends what kind of style you like. These are both very close in price and a definite upgrade from those rental shoes. All right, next up, we got the 3G Ascent. Boris, can you tell us a little bit about why this shoe is in the middle of the spectrum? So unlike the two shoes we talked about earlier, uh, where if we look on the bottom of these, on both shoes, you're gonna see sliders. And on these, you're not. So you're gonna have a dedicated push foot with rubber on the bottom. Uh, these shoes are hand specific as well. These particular ones are right handed, but certain other shoes will have left handed options available as well. So what do you mean by hand specific? For example, I'm a left handed bowler, so I actually will slide on my right foot and wanna push off with my left. For this one here, where I have the right shoe, this is gonna be for a right handed bowler who slides on their left foot. If you're actually to run your hand along this, it looks like a slide sole, but it's actually all rubber. What that does is increases performance. You can have a little more push off on your right foot to get into that left foot slide. And just a little bit more durable, a little bit better quality. And it's just gonna last a little bit longer. So definitely a pair of shoes you wanna go to if you bowl a little bit more than just casually. And if you look at the tops of these, there's a mesh top as well, so very breathable. Keep your foot nice and cool when you're bowling a lot of games out there. Now moving up from the mid-range shoe, the 3G Ascent, we're going to the Brunswick Rampage here. And so this one is like a medium to high price point. As you can see, it looks more like a dress shoe almost. And Bars, can you tell us a little bit more of why this one's more expensive? So similar to what we had in the 3G Ascent, you have that dedicated push foot. Uh, this particular shoe comes in left and right hand options, whereas the Ascent here only comes in right handed. So lefties like me have another option at a little higher price point. Uh, one of the big benefits of this particular shoe is it comes with interchangeable soles on the slide foot. So this is the least expensive shoe that has that option available. So we look at the other foot here, the slide foot. We have a slider on here, which is also removable. And it comes with a second one in the box as well. That gives you a little bit more slide. So definitely a big upgrade from the Ascents in that it gives you that interchangeable aspect to it. So the sole is interchangeable. How about the heel? This is a fixed heel, so you won't be able to change it to a different heel to give you more or less slide. We'll get to that in the upcoming shoes. All right, now onto the most expensive style of shoe. We have the 3G Tours. This one's in black. They come in black and gold as well. Can you explain a little bit why this is the most expensive shoe you can buy? So if we want to look at the upper materials on this, whereas the Brunswick Rampage has synthetic upper, now we're getting into leather. So we're getting into very different materials. There's also some interchangeable parts on the push foot as well. So this toe cap will actually come off if you wear it out and want to replace it. It's a replacement part that you can purchase from your pro shop. So like the previous shoe, it's a fixed heel on the back of the push foot. So if we look at the bottom of these, this is actually a removable heel. It's tough to get off, but trust me, it comes <laughs> off. <laughs> we also have a changeable slide sole on this one too. So with the Tour Black and the Belmo shoes, they only come with what's in the box. There's no additional parts, uh, no interchangeable soles that come with it in addition to these. Now, if you're looking at the Tour Ultra, a little bit higher in price, but it comes with all the extras. The soles, uh, extra heel, and it comes with the shoe trees and a carry case as well. So worth the extra few bucks. <laughs> so in addition to all the shoes you see here, there's also different lacing systems. Why don't we talk a bit more about that? The new popular thing these days is the BOA fastening system, right? Really easy to use, no laces, guaranteed for life, so simple to use, right? Push it down, tighten it up if you want to tighten your shoe, 
and just pop it out you want to loosen your shoe no lace is required very popular these are just on Dexter shoes for now the boa but other companies are coming out with their own style of it so just another little thing you can look for in a bowling shoe if you hate laces all right so we've covered basically every level of shoe you can buy obviously each company is gonna have multiple levels and multiple different shoes for each level and it's just up to you what kind of shoe suits your game so let's talk a little bit about what we wear Barks, you want to elaborate on the kind of shoes you wear and why? Yeah, I got them right here. So I wear the Hammer Diesels. So on these, again, removable and interchangeable heel and sole. Uh, in the box comes with three different soles, uh, three different heels as well, a shoe cover, extra pair of laces, uh, and a carry bag for all the extra stuff. So with these, they do come with everything, so well worth the extra money for these ones. So the Hammer, the Brunswick, the KR Strike Force, and the 3G high-end shoes are going to come with everything in the box. Not the case with Dexter. Uh, whatever's on the shoe is all you're going to get. So any additional parts, you got to go pay for, unfortunately. And they're expensive. Especially on the uh, the nine shoes. Those interchangeable parts are very expensive. Brutal. What about you, John? What are you wearing out there on the approach? All right, so today I find the most comfiest shoes, the 3G Tour HPs. Now these are not the highest price point 3G shoes, unlike the Tours here or the Tour Ultras. They are one step below that, but they have this soft knit front and side here, which is very flexible, and I just find that more comfy. So this is what I wear, and I can't complain. It's got everything, interchangeable heel on the left foot, interchangeable sole, the right foot, you know, got your push foot, push heel. So very sturdy shoes, been wearing them for a while. They still look pretty good. So I would recommend something like this if you're looking for something on the higher end, but don't want to spend $5,000. All right, so we've gone through seven different pairs of shoes here, all the way from the bottom. If you're just a casual bowler, you're bowling once in a while with your friends, don't want to wear the rental shoes, go with something like this, a Dexter Ricky or a 3G Go, something like this, very light, pretty comfortable, but they're not a super high performance bowling shoe. They got sliders on both feet. So just for the casual bowler who likes to bowl once in a while. In the middle of the road, we got the 3G Ascent. So this is something, if you bowl more often, maybe once a week, uh, you're gonna want something a little bit better quality. It's got the right foot, it's got the push foot, so you're not gonna be sliding everywhere as if you got two sliders on both feet with something like this. So a little bit higher price point, kind of in the mid range, and a better shoe, more durable. I can feel it when I'm holding it. It's a little bit more sturdy and a little bit better made. And then for the more serious bowler, the one that's bowling in leagues and maybe some tournaments, Something with an interchangeable aspect, something like the Brunswick Rampage or the 3G Tour Blacks, or for the really serious travels out of town type bowler, something like the Hammer Diesel or the Tour HP from 3G. Now, if you're bowling in multiple houses, you're gonna bowl tournaments at different places, really important to have that interchangeable left foot or slide foot, if you will, right? Not all approaches are gonna be the same, not all temperatures are gonna be the same. You're gonna have to change the sole and the heel sometimes to get that good slide. So if you're not just bowling casually once in a while, you're gonna need some interchangeable shoes. Thanks for watching everybody. Let us know down in the comments, what shoes are you wearing right now? And if you need a new pair, hit up shop.boofabowling.com. He's got lots of inventory, huge warehouse. Jungle Barks in the checkout for 10% off your order. Go check it out.